October 12, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and eight months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 596 of special Putin's operations. Big picture. The plucky and determined Ukrainian defenders again have refused to accept the tyranny of the Kremlin on this day. Kremlin troop movements and the addition of new brigades to the front will present new target opportunities for Ukrainian defenders, and likely more free tanks. At Avdiivka the Kremlin has gone on a heavy offensive, estimates of 2,000 to 8,000 troops in this area have been attempting to attack over the last three days. Dnieper line. Nothing to speak of in combat from this area today. Exchanges of artillery continue, and the Kremlin continues to shell civilian structures. Kremlin mouthpieces have been insinuating that Ukraine will be attempting a landing sometime soon. Zaporizhia front. This front has been relatively quiet for the last few days. Ukraine has shown an advance west of Robotine, continuing what appears to be the expansion of the front, to take the town of Kopani. East Front, Donetsk. Combat continues to be pressed by the Kremlin at the corner between Volheda and Marienka. In what is the largest single assault since the invasion, the Kremlin has spent the last three days sending Russian boys to get blown up around Avdiivka. Ukraine counts nearly 130 tanks, and as many armored vehicles of the Russian Federation destroyed in the fields and roads around Avdiivka. Despite heavy shelling and bombing, and literally thousands of conscripts being brought into combat, the Kremlin has so far failed to encircle the city. The troops in Avdiivka have been repulsing attacks on the flanks of the city for nearly two years, leading to some of the most veteran and best prepared troops of Ukraine. Bakhmut area. East of Andreevka and Klishchivka the Ukrainian defenders continue to liberate territory. As they do, they destroy not only the troops of the Kremlin, they destroy the mythology that Russia is undefeatable. Oskil border front. The important story here is the discovery of new Kremlin troops to the northeast of Kupiansk and south of Svartov. These units have been nice enough to bring steel and phosphorus from Russia to be deposited in Ukraine. The phosphorus is certainly appreciated, the sunflowers don't mind. The steel may have to serve as flower pots. Northern border. There's little new to add on this line. The Kremlin continues to shell civilian structures, and the free Russians continue to be found making raids on Kremlin forces. Black Sea. The Kremlin, in true Kremlin fashion, appears to have owned gold a brand new missile cruiser. By deploying mines without proper regard for mapping, this spanking new ship, which was to be the pride of Russian engineering, now serves to house fish. Ukraine world related. With the renewed vigor of Kremlin attacks, we can hope that the rest of the world realizes that the Kremlin is very serious about their threats to take more land in Europe. The destruction of the gas pipeline between Estonia and Finland may be viewed as another proof of Putin's willingness to do violence any way and any time he can. Good news for cheap Americans worried that Europe isn't sending enough. The image on your screen shows aid to Ukraine compared to total GDP. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.